The nice thing about nonverbal behavior is, and the study of it, is that anybody can do it. You can do it at home while watching television. You can do it at the airport while you watch uh, people going by. You can do it at the theater as you're waiting in line. You can do it anywhere. The one thing that we do know from the research is, is that the more you observe, the more carefully you view the world around you, the better you will become. But there are two requirements. And the two requirements are this. Number one is you have to be able to observe the behavior. And the second one is that you must be able to decode the behavior. And I'll give you an example. Someone purses their lips. They go like this. We've all seen this behavior. So we can say, well, I've seen that behavior. We recognize it. But what does it mean? Well, one of the interesting things from the research uh, that we have is that we now know that when people are talking to each other and one of them is pursing their lips, most likely they're thinking of an alternative or they're in total disagreement. Now, this is terrific for someone in negotiations, but what about the poker table? And as I said, when it comes to nonverbal behavior, there's no difference. Here's how it works out at the poker table. You look at your whole cards, you put them down. The next person looks at his whole cards and maybe calls or raises. Flop comes around a few seconds later, and this person right here begins to do this. They're looking at his cards. They're pursing their lips. Chances are that they are in disagreement with what has unfolded. Fourth Street comes around, and they're still pursing their lips. Pretty much, you know, that this person is going to have to fold. We know it because from the very beginning, and it did not change, they were pursing their lips as they were going along. They were doing this. Subconsciously, their brain was already registering, I don't like this. I'm in disagreement with what I'm seeing. Or they may do it when somebody calls or goes over the top on them, and they were hoping that they wouldn't. And then you see them immediately purse their lips out because they're in disagreement. So once again, it's important to do two things. Number one, observe the behavior, and number two, to decode it properly. Joe Navarro, former FBI special agent. I amplify. Do you?